All right, guys, welcome back to Sky Factory 4. How are you guys doing? I'm having a great day. I hope you're having a great day, too. Uh, guys, we're going to be making the mob farm that I promised you guys in the last episode. If you haven't checked that out, make sure you do, because it's kind of fun. So we're going to be using these fans here, and a lot of you, I believe these are the same fans that we've always used. That's, like, really loud. Let's just leave it on. Okay, oh, it still works. Is it three blocks away? Nope, it's just one block. Okay, cool. So these are where we're going to be using for our mob farm. Uh, we can go in here and make up a whole ton of these bad boys. Well, not those. We need to fan. Come on, I had this all made up, but you didn't do anything. Okay. I mean, I, ideally, we would like to use these because we can uh, just like one per layer, but we're going to have to make do with Hey, what the shenanigans? Oh, I didn't make it enough of these. Okay. We're gonna have a few of these going. <laughs> what are we missing? Oh, stone. Son of a nutcracker. I used it all up making the torches. Ah! That llama is getting so flippin' annoying. Um, yeah. It's like, hey boy, you need to shut up or you need to ship out. Look at it. There he is. Do you think anyone would notice if we pushed him off? Shut up. <gasps> is he going to fall? Oh, please tell me he's going to fall. How you know, awesome that would be if we had... The... Oh, no, he's not going to fall. He's gone forever. All right, so let's go ahead here and make up some fans. I'm actually not sure how many of these we should make. Because uh, I haven't, like, planned out what we're doing uh, just yet. Um, let's see. We should have some. Come on. Come on. Don't be like that game. Yeah, we got a lot of iron smelted up over here. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and grab it all up. Because you guys totally need to see this, right? This is how you make iron. Pretty neat, huh? Okay. And so we just need... Wait, how many of these? So you get two fur. Okay, so. If we make nine, we should be set. Um, we actually need two more. So six more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay. So there are those. Now we can worry less about these. Which is good. Okay, so we made a bunch. All right, so we're just gonna make this one out of cobblestone just for now. Oops, I don't need any diamond acorns. We'll just do that. Okay, and then we're gonna need to make a wand. Oh, don't do that. Okay, <laughs> I just unpinned the Twitch launcher from my, uh, or unpinned the Twitch launcher from my uh, computer. That was fun. Come up with three of these because this is going to be a newer design for myself. Okay, so I want it to be in a plus pattern, right? So it's a big plus, so it'll look like this. And it'll come up like so. And the middle here is where the mobs are going to, are going to fall down into, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't know how big to make all of these. So, let's see. Um, so we need to make cubes. Uh, and the collection point is going to be... Um, so say this is the floor here. It will be up in the air. And this is where we'll collect. And then the plus will be above it. If that makes any logical sense. So say this was a half slab. Uh, we would be there. And then the rest of the farm would be still up above us. And that's where all the mobs would form and have to have a good time. So let's see. Um, so this is the direct center. I believe this is zero zero in the world. Can't actually show you. Or no. This is zero zero right here. Okay. Oops, not that button. 
Um, so zero, zero bean here. Let's do nine. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, like that. Let's just get a feel of how this looks. That is only three. And so we would have a few of these kind of scattered around. All right, guys, so this is the space here. And uh, underneath, what was that? One, two, three. Uh, underneath here, uh, I would like to have like walkways in between because eventually I'd like to put, you know, other farms here, stuff like that. And like th these are just temporary blocks, obviously. Uh, but yeah, let's see. How does that feel? Mm, I think it needs to go up one more block, if I'm being honest. Yeah, because if we go out here, it's way too wide. Six, six blocks up. Oh, I did go six blocks up. Mm. Okay, no worries. And so what we're going to do here, sorry for not talking, uh, we're going to... Uh, raise all these up at once and then just mine out the blocks in the middle like that and then we can mine these bad boys out I think it'd be a lot easier doing it this way so there's going to be an elevator in the middle of all of these that will go up and down in or they'll probably be four like in the corners so that way um, I don't know maybe Maybe the pigs and those guys seem like it. I do not like these blocks to look at, like all together. Like maybe as a border, uh, but all together here, it is way too busy for a floor. Uh, we're gonna eventually change these out. I just wanted to have that there for a placeholder. Uh, yeah, I'm liking it. And so we'll have to take all these up, and we'll probably just do a time lapse of this. All right, so we have our the beginnings of it. Um, hmm, trying to think here. The best way to do this. So obviously we need to, oh shoot. Well, yeah, it's, <gasps> it's filling in the walls, dang it. You're supposed to not do that on shift, you dang fool. All right, so this is going to be where the mob farm's at. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to take the torches. We're going to move them in one block for now. It, obviously, it'll still um, it'll still reach everywhere. Uh, so we're just going to build this ring up all the way around. So the, the cool thing is I made these 9 by 9 because... Um, the fans we have won't require more than that, or they're at, uh, they push 16, uh, so that's 8 and 8, and yeah, as you can tell, 9 by 9 is 18, so it only pushes to about here, so you can't possibly, or possibly, like, push one all the way across and, uh, like, break the system. So, this is what we're gonna, oops, what we're gonna be doing. And so we have these redstone blocks. Oh, excuse me. It's going to be a loud farm, but it's going to be effective. So, let's see. Do we have enough cobblestone? I don't think we do, but we do have enough ladders. Two. Ooh, that's gone. Why? You're supposed to do more than that, I thought. Come on. Oop, out of cobblestone. 
as you can see, it uses up, we use up like a heck ton of cobble. Uh, let's see. Is there like a dank knoll or something in this? We can just put a whole bunch of nullifier. Uh, null heads. I don't think that's what we want. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can build that up. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, so we've got everything up to this level. I didn't make that. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> that really hurt. And uh, so we're going to go up four blocks. Or should we just go up three? We're going to go up four on this bottom one. Because eventually we're going to put Cursed Earth in. And I don't want I don't want you to be able to see that. So we're going to go. So one, two, three, four. So we're building on the fifth one. So that way it comes up in the Enderman. We'll still be able to get around. Or be pushed... Or spawn in, sorry, because they'll, they'll get around all right. Okay. Yep, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so, there's one layer. We're going to build, we're going to determine our stuff on this layer. So, one, two, three on the fourth one. So, I want to build four layers. And it probably means we're going to need... Some more fans, but that's okay by me. If I move that here. Nope. Two torches it is. Okay. That's the second layer there. Good. Whoa, it's pretty spooky in here now. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start putting in the fans, guys. All of the, uh, other than these corners, everything's been put in. And if you're wondering about... The kill platform. I still haven't figured that out yet. Still don't know what we're doing. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. Um, let me go grab the fans down here. So we're going to just have to go across here. And I'm getting frame drop. Like my frame rate is locked in at uh, 60 FPS. And I don't know how to fix that. It's really aggravating me. Oh, well, that didn't quite work. What if we do? Okay. That's odd. <laughs> We're getting pushed into the center, kind of. Kind of weird, though, that we can just, like, freely walk around here. Okay, give me one sec. Okay, guys, so I ended up tearing these out because I forgot we need to have them drop down here. Um, and in order to do that effectively, I'm trying to think. Um, do we have any conveyor belts? <gasps> we do. Ooh. Um, okay, so these are going to be good. So we need plastic, uh, iron, and redstone. Dang. Okay. Uh, but let's see. So this is nine white, right? Or eight white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's seven wide. Um, let's see. So seven times four is 28. 28 times three. I can't math right now. Give me a second. All right, so we need a total of 84 fans. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go ahead and set up this top row of them. Like first, ho, ho. <gasps> well, we're going to try to do this. Yeah, there we go. Use redstone. See it, guys? I totally use redstone all the time. There are some people who said I didn't. It's going to freaking work, but we might have the problem of, like, mobs getting thrown from this side over to here and thrown back. <laughs> all right, give me a second. All right, people, so we're going to be making some rubber. So first we're going to need a tree fluid extractor. We can make quite a few of these. And then we're going to need a uh, latex processing unit. We're going to make up one of these machine cases. Then we're going to make up one of these latex processing units. We're going to need some pipes. Or cable, maybe? Now let's look at 
ducks. Oh yeah, we got our we got our boys the fluid ducks. Okay. Oh dang, we don't have copper, do we? Oh. Okay. Need a copper sap. Copper sap. So you get molten copper, spruce wood, spruce wood. It's a petrified sapling, so we'll get that going. Petrified sapling in some water. Bucket. Give me bucket. Hello, Mr. Bucket. How many freaking times do you need to hit escape? Jeez Louise. Mobs are spawning. Crap, 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 crap. It's working too well, everyone. I just heard a wow creeper. Though I don't think they can pathfind down ladders. Oh, it's spooky. Spooky, scary skeletons. Okay. So, in order to get the copper whopper, we need this guy. Red sand. Red dyed water. What? Red, 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 red. Okay, so let's go ahead. We should be able to make this with one bucket. Um, and then you are here. Can we die you now? Oh yes, we can. Oh yes, we can. And now we need sand. I'm extra sandy, all right. Uh, how much sand do we got? We got. Oh, look at that. We got one sand. <laughs> yeah, that red sand though. Okay, I also need to set back up my tinkers. Uh, tinkers. Yeah, let's just grab these bad boys. Okay, go over here. And you are here. You are here. Actually, we should place this over here. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Okay. Um, no, what the heck is going? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I cannot place this thing today. Holy crepes, dudes. Oh, wait, the drain needs to be facing in. I'm a knucklehead. Okay, there we go. And here and here, perfect. And casting table. Why you not work? Oh, we need to get this out of here. Yep, okay. So let's go ahead and craft up this copper sapling. Copper sapling. Boom. Need to make up this copper thing. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right, there we go. Let that smelt up. And then we take our spruce sapling, put it here, and then we can make the bingos. All right, so we should be good to go now, making up our copper sapling. Let's go ahead and get a bonsai ready for it. Chesticle, here you go. Wait, I already have a chesticle. Thank you, Mr. Chesticle. All right, got a chesticle, and then we need bonsai. Bonsai! Okay, now we need fertile fertilizer. Yes, we have made it. It is perfect. Man, that is taking... Oh, wow. I thought that was taking forever to, to make up, but it's... Oh, I don't want that there. See, because stuff like that happens, and it goes pew and shoots off in that direction. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to let this copper strap and glow for a little bit. I don't know what I just said. We're going to let it grow for a bit. I'll get some copper, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and build up these fluid ducks. I don't know why I said it like that. That was kind of weird. Okay, so we got, uh, we're just going to do this many, because we can. I made a whole bunch of lead amper on accident. Uh, so these don't need any power, but they do need some wood. Good thing we got lots of wood over here. And so what this does is the tree fluid extractor. Yep, placed the wrong way. This guy will kind of mine a, a log, like so. And he produces latex, which is pretty neat. And then we can go ahead and take the latex out and bring it into here. Is that working? Does that have to be on top? Oh, we need a servo to extract it. Let's go ahead and make up a servo. I forget. It's been a little bit since I've used this. 
Okay. Oh, geez. We got, a lot, we got a lot of stuff to make servos with, which is good. So if we go like this, we should be able to extract latex. Yep. So we're getting latex into here. And then we also need water. So it's actually kind of smart if you build this next to a source of water. And then we give it power, which we can make the generator. There's a lot of stuff we need for this. I forgot. Okay, so we should just be able to make like a uh, simple combustion guy. Yeah, just like so. And we'll grab some wood. No one wants jungle wood, do they? I don't. So we just put that here. Put the wood in there. And as you can see, we're making dry rubber. Now you get nine of those and you combine them all together like you make an iron block. And then you get uh, like rubber, like raw rubber, and then you need to smelt it. So that's what we're doing. And we have a block placer, like an easy one to make. Um, on a timer or redstone. Dispenser, oof. Ooh, look at that. That was easy to make. Okay. Let's see, Do, can we make a timer? Oh, we already made a timer. We can make one of these guys. Boom, check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out, G. And so what this will do is it'll continue to place the block after it's gone. And so all we need to do is just administer the water. Oh, you've got to be joking. It just does it automatically. That's amazing. Okay. And so as you can see, we're out of water. Crap. Um, you can make a sink, but I hear that you need to have uh, like a multi-block structure. Um, what is it? Aqueous. Hmm, I don't have any of that. Um... Yeah. So I guess the infinite water isn't really going to work a whole lot. Water condensator. That's weird. Um, water source stone. I don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to keep putting water in here. Can we make a tank at all? Uh, yes, we can. That's not it. Quartz tank. Nope. Nope. I guess not. <laughs> okay. Well, we could make an ender tank and just pump it out. But I guess we're just going to have to do this method. The lame. We could also we could make a bucket, but we can't leave that here, which stinks. So now we've got latex processing. I'll use up that water quick. I'm going to do this for a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, so we actually were able to use the... Hold up, hold up, hold up. What's it called? It is the water condensor. Condensator. Uh, from industrial foregoing and I guess this thing you just place it next to water and it starts picking it up and you can put it right into here so now we have uh, automated uh, latex and I also added one more of these uh, just because it was taking quite a while and I figured you know two is better than one so now we have that going we have our simple generator up here so now we're starting to get more of this which is perfect because that means that we can go ahead and make our mob stuff and things. Guys, I'm getting really nervous. If you look up at our mini map up over here, you can see a lot of red. <laughs> like a lot, a lot of red. Um, <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get this mob crusher going. <laughs> we need a book. Oh no. Oh no. We just use these blank patterns. <laughs> Like legitimately scared to go upstairs. Uh, this is terrible. <laughs> I've been playing for quite a while. <laughs> this could be a long video. Okay, so we have a mob crusher. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, get this combustion generator going. We'll grab some wood. <laughs> We didn't think this through. Oh, man. And we're going to need an upgrade, too, while we're at it. Uh, let's see. Range. Sorry if you guys hear that. Um, that's silver. It's quartz. Let's just use gold. Oh. 
But not glass. Hey, we got a bunch of glass. Okay. We're also smelting up some more of this rubber. There we go. Jeez Louise. Okay, so let's go ahead. Plus eight. I think it's going up to a plus five, right? Oh, shoot. We need more copper. Ugh. Okay, so we got we got enough stuff for it. Good. Um, let's see, copper. Oh boy. Oops. Okay, so there's 13 more, so we should be able to get that going. Sorry for the long episode today, guys. I wanted to get both of this mob farm going. There was a lot of extra stuff I wasn't prepared for that came up. Like here, let's just get closer. You could hear all of the Owen Wilson creepers. <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> there's so much editing I have to do to this video. Okay, so that should be enough for the, the plus five range upgrades. Let's go ahead. Uh, I, uh, I build it, that thing. Okay. And we're also going to need a chest for all the items to go into. Hold up. We have chests. Okay, yeah, 19 chests. That'll be the perfect amount. Okay, so when you place this here and put the range upgrade on and preview. Okay, so we're going to have to place it like a one block underneath. Wow. 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 Frick, I forgot building blocks. Gosh. Um, sand leaves. Yep, that's what we're using build blocks for. Oh, okay. I wasn't ready. Oh my gosh. Get up the ladder, please. Oof. Really? We need item conduit now. Oh my gosh. This is not going as planned. Cool thing is we'll be able to use like three or four cabinets for all the stuff we get. Um, So here we go. We need item ducts. Item duct opaque. <laughs> really? Come on, man. <sighs> I just want to have a good time, man. I just want to have a good time. You done yet? All right, so we gotta make this item duct. Item duct. Boom. And a servo. Boom. Shaka frickin' Laka. Okay, let's go. We had a power? Why did you stop working? Oh, look at that. Okay, so we have a killer over here. Uh, we're gonna actually set up this bottom room down here to be our uh, killing chamber. So uh, they'll fall into onto this floor and they'll get killed. And we'll have a whole bunch of extra storage back there with the cables linked up to it. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, if you did, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, I'll see you in the next episode, and we'll see what we'll be doing. I don't know yet.